Well, celebration of culture, history, and rhythm. So in honor of National Hispanic Heritage Month, which is observed each year from September 15th through October 15th, we take you inside the vibrant world of ballet florcorico. All right, it's a traditional <laughs> with uh, tradition with colors, costumes, and passionate dancers. Photographer Elliot Rio Seco shares a behind the scenes look. Studio started in the year 2000, and we started as ballet folklorico El Tapatio in El Cajon City. <laughs> then, after a couple of years, we started a new dance studio in Encinitas. And in 2014, I started teaching at the University of San Diego. So all together became Ballet Folklorico El Tapatio de San Dieguito. And this year, we are officially Ballet Folklorico San Diego Dance Company. I've been doing Ballet Folklorico for about a month. I'm fairly new to the program. As a dancer, when I looked up folklorical styles, I found this studio and I felt like it would be a perfect way to celebrate my culture and also learn a new style of dance. To me, the style is unique because there's so much heritage behind it. Uh, every dance tells a story, the costumes are really specific to the region, and I think it's beautiful to be able to see it represented on stage. Everybody can learn a four-year-old to a 70-year-old, all ages. They're gonna learn, they're gonna do, learn part of the Mexican culture, they're gonna experience the beauty, they're gonna develop self-confidence on stage, and they're gonna feel how people embrace our folklore and how they value. We participate with other communities, ballet folkloricos. Every year there's a big event where like 50 ballet folkloricos get together and we just expose our art to, to the audience. It's really interesting how like the postura or the posture is different in every state. Like Jalisco, it's very much like we say in Spanish, coqueta, it's like flirtatious. Jarabe tapatillo, that's, it's a dance where two couples dance together and like they're in love. And it's very much a lot of movement of the neck. To somebody who does not identify as Hispanic or Latino, I would say that they should feel very welcome to join this type of dance. I don't think that this culture is specifically only for people who identify with the Hispanic culture. I think it's important that everybody embodies this beautiful dance so that we can keep the tradition alive. And when other people can enjoy that with us, it makes it so much more beautiful.